My name is John Griffith. I'm Kari Kildow. You are watching Talking About. Thank you, Joe. Uh, taking the stage now is one of our favorite performers, Aris. Uh, please take it away. Thank you. It's my new single, and it's called Reborn. Come, come over to the couch. <laughs> uh, keep are you mic'd? I think I'm mic'd. Okay. Uh, you tell me. <laughs> so you got a cake, but you have no utensils. I know. What are you going to do about this? <laughs> this Happy anniversary. We're rocking the same hair. I, I like know. what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> We're twinsies today. Because well, I've been wearing hats all week, and I was like, oh, screw it. I need to put my hair up. And well, I'm glad you did. I, I know, like right? I'm looking into a mirror. Well, because last beardless. time you were here, you had you were wearing a hat, and yeah. I and then I saw your hair underneath, and I was I was like, why? He has such a great haircut. Why is he hiding it? So I'm glad you're not I'll wearing that today. I'll tell you why. Why? It was cold. It was November, and I was. Uh, <laughs> it was I, cold. I was in a tank top, so I had to keep body heat in somehow. <laughs> so 20 years. Wow. That means yes. one more year in talking about can officially drink at a bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Uh, so what's new? Uh, well, um, that was my new single, Reborn. Uh -huh. I like it. It, uh, it will be coming out later this month in August. So it's August now, right? Yeah. I'm a little behind. Yeah. And, um, in the morning it will be. Well, there you go. <laughs> and um, uh, since I was last here in November, I launched a Kickstarter for my new album. 
and it was successfully funded, which was uh, such a blessing and so great. And actually tonight, the Kickstarters will get that single and uh, have a little advance present for their support. John is a Kickstarter, so he will be receiving that, yes. I should have just brought you a <laughs> copy, but I didn't think of it. Um, and uh, recently I performed at Pride Fest, which I ran into Kara there, which was yeah. a very fun, <laughs> so very fun surprise. <laughs> like, I know you. I totally know you. Yeah. yeah, and so it's just been a lot of studio time, a lot of time recording and writing and trying to get everything perfect and preparing the materials for release, you know, the visuals. Mm -hmm. um, we're working on a new video right now, which should be out hopefully by the end of August. Mm -hmm. And just keeping busy, you know, uh, scheduling performances. I've got a premiere show sometime in October. I hope you guys can make it. Keep us posted, yeah, definitely. Oh, most definitely. Do I you know where it's going to be? I, I have one of two locations I'm trying to nail down. It's either going to be at Stonewall or somewhere else that's not Stonewall. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Maybe Stonewall. We'll see. And also um, on August 15th, uh, there's an event at Stonewall called Madonna Worship, and it's a great group of people I have to go to that. Yeah, it's cool, too, because um, it's a benefit for the Anti-Violence Coalition. Okay. And so the money that's raised goes to that. Are you going to be there? I will be there, and I will be performing uh, a special song, which I can't tell you what it is because then you won't come, right? Wait, is that <laughs> the one that uh, DJ Chauncey It is. is. Yeah. Okay. This came up with, like on my Facebook thing. And I, now I have to go to this now that I know that you're going to be there because he and I knew each other many years ago. And when I saw that thing for the, the invite, I like private messaged him and I was just I messaged him and I was like, hey. And then he, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I he this was before when he just started DJing. He made me a mix CD. I still have it, and I loved it. So now I have to go. Well, I can't wait to see you there. And also a couple of guests that have previously been on Talking About will be there, I believe. Um, Eric Alon will be there. Okay. And um, <laughs> I haven't had coffee fun. today, <laughs> so my mind is a little blank. But Aaron the night Paul? Is Aaron, Aaron Paul, is, I don't think, is no? on the, okay. the roster. However, he is definitely making the waves right now. And he yeah, I love him to death, but recently. he has to stop tagging me in post. Oh, no. <laughs> he didn't just call that out live on air. <laughs> he did. I don't know what you're talking oh about. Oh, no. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's a tense moment. I'll remember never to tag you in a post then. Well, not one every five minutes. I'm just, I have to do it. Do it. I'm sorry. I already did. Okay. It's good. Just a little bit. <laughs> it's good frosting, right? It's good frosting. It's I know not that, that really shitty grocery <laughs> store <laughs> frosting. Poor manners. To, like, we don't have a knife and, and we don't have plates. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry about that. For whoever's eating <laughs> the cake, we're gonna be hitting this <laughs> thing. Like. I mean, come on. There's a cake sitting in front of me. This I couldn't just watch it. I want then. a flower. <laughs> ah, <laughs> me too. I'm a flower. <laughs> anyway, a beautiful flower. <laughs> I am a petite flower. A delicate rose. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> your your last album, um, Twilight Revival. Yes, which is still available everywhere. Uh, almost everywhere. Almost everywhere. I mean, you know, it's not in Starbucks, but. Oh, yeah. It should be. Yeah. It should be. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, in Starbucks, honey. Well, I don't want to go to Starbucks, but I like if people <laughs> purchase music there. That works out okay. well, you know. It's better than the coffee. That's for sure. Uh, speaking of coffee and nothing to do with coffee, we have a caller on the line. Uh oh. Hello, caller. How are you? Hi, Col Hi, Jonathan. It's Christine Callinger. Christine Callinger. Oh my goodness. How are you? Happy 20th anniversary. So talking about. How are you? Thank you. We can barely hear you on the floor, but I can understand you. Uh, for, for, for those who, I don't have a picture to show, but Christine was uh, my first uh, co-host on the show, and we were talking about you a little earlier. How are you? I'm very good, Jonathan. How are you? I'm okay. Uh, well, the reason you're not here is because you, you ran away from New York. Yes, I did. Um, I'm really glad that you called in. Um, because 20 years ago, I, I was telling Cara earlier that I kind of <laughs> threw you to the wolves with one of the first shows. Uh, uh, do you know what I'm talking about and what that brings to mind? Um, I believe I did the first show I did was um, the Safe Sex show. Oh, yeah. And the Longevity show. <laughs> and, and then I took it from there. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember but, we had and we, ha we had a lot of fun doing it. You were you were with the show for about four or five in. years. Yep, yep. We had gay activism. We had a show of some child protective services, and then we had some fun shows on location at the Queens County Farm Museum. Mm -hmm. And um, 
a few thrown in about authors, about Latina and Latino writers, I believe. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> um, we we got a lot done. And um, actually, yes, we uh, did. I know you're you're out of state right now, so you, uh, and we're not streaming just yet. But we have uh, Aris is sitting next to us. He's an emerging and incredibly talented musical artist. And we had a few of those on. And as as somebody who's really just starting to break out, what what would something that you would ask ask him be? Ah, a new and emerging uh, artist. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, what sets you apart from the competition? Oh, what a great question. Well, first of all, you have a lovely voice. I well, feel like you're sitting you. right here next to me right now. Um, for me, music is my heart, so f it's something that is kind of like uh, therapy and also comes from my soul. So I feel like maybe the aut authenticity of it sets me apart. Um, it's It starts out like uh, a journal for me, and it kind of goes from there. And uh, there's not a lot of... Uh, production and artifice and what I do. It's very much straight from the cuff. So uh, that and also I believe, you know, um, in today's day and age, uh, things move so fast and it's like a singles market. Like, and I don't mean single, like single people. I mean like MP3, MP3. And I, I feel like I'm maybe born in the wrong generation. I'm very much an album artist. Like, uh -huh. I like, I like right. telling a story and I like take, taking the listener through in a variety of different types of songs and different vibes and so I think that sets me apart like I really set out to make full albums and um, to, to bring the listener on a journey with that album instead of just catching them with a, a flashy single I so see. I hope that sets me apart and well that's a good and then I have a follow-up question oh please so what genre I didn't perhaps I didn't hear the show so what genre are you in? Well, my last album was a mix of rock and pop and a little bit of soul. This new album that's coming out is a lot more on the dancey side. Uh, it's, uh, I wouldn't say it's necessarily only a dance album. There's definitely still a lot of rock moments and a lot of soul moments, but the goal was to make less depressing music because, <laughs> I don't know, because we love depressing music, right? But, you know, <laughs> I got tired of doing shows where people were like, Mmm, it's really <laughs> great, but mmm. I wanted to see people moving in the audience and just uh, right. celebrating life and celebrating love and celebrating the, f the spirit of music and the spirit of coming together at a live show. So um, I hope that answered your question. Lots of different yeah, genres. Not rap, though, not oh. yet. You can <laughs> say that for the next album. Good, and I wish you good luck, and I hope I can hear your music at some point. Thank you so much. You I will email like. you a copy of my new single if uh, Jonathan Excellent. and Cara will get me your email address. Yes, okay, I will. Okay, great. Yep. Okay, Jonathan, so First. I see you're um, doing well with the show, and I'm proud of you, and I know the format looks different than what we started out with, and I think it's fabulous that you're still able to get out and continue your dream and your vision that you had over 20 years ago. Thank and you so I'm much. Glad, and I'm, I'm, I'm so to proud to have you have been a part of it, especially at the foundation. Right. And okay. I, I'm really grateful that you called in. And I was speaking to our common friend Lorraine earlier about you, and she wants you to give her a call. I will. OK, thank you. OK, and thank you. Take care. Say hi to the Jonathan. family. <laughs> You, okay, I will say hi to yours, too. Okay, okay. thanks. Bye. 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 That was nice. And a little bit of a diversion from you. Oh, and she's so sweet. You really do have to get me her information. I will. Uh, I will. <laughs> you guys still doing current events? Yes. Yeah. Right, you, What's you, on your mind? You didn't really talk about Donald Trump, did you? Uh, no. Did, we, did, we did a whole show on him at well, one point. I, I feel it's important just to touch upon the, the fact that somehow he's in the lead right now amongst Republican candidates. <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure how this happened. I'm not sure who they're polling, if it's like uh, some sort of weird <laughs> it's algorithm it's, it's that's like the, happening. The reality show audience is, is Very voting. Very strange, right? Like, right. Next but, thing you know, a Doug will be running. I mean, a couple friends have the theory that he's actually a ringer for the Democrats because it's just oh, not I've seen possible. It, how he's so divisive in so many ways, in ways that I've never heard him be before. And um, I, I think he might actually like. And I don't want to insult him on the air, but I'm going to have to do it. I think he's having a senior moment. Like he needs to just calm <laughs> down and collect himself. His kids, Ivana, Ivanka, Trump needs to pull him aside and mm. say, "Settle down. Just take a moment. A few. Just take a breather." <laughs>
take a breather and insult less people. Yeah, but that's, that's his whole shtick. I mean, and all, all it is is shtick at this point. But um, back to you. <laughs> all right. I, Christine was on the right track. I mean, uh, I, was, I was getting ready to head that way because of how deeply uh, personal uh, Twilight Revival is and the evolution and all the things that were going on with you there forced you to dig deep and it, it it's all definitely present on the album and yeah like you said you're you're lightening up on this one um not completely but okay. a little bit <laughs> well there were, there were even on uh twilight there there are elements of yeah there there there's some joyful moments yes in there. yeah um, when I was in the, the process of writing and recording Twilight Revival, um, a lot was going on in my life. I uh, was battling serious depression, and, and at the same time, my mother had come down with cancer, and then um, over the course of about a year and a half, then she passed away. So I was definitely dealing with a lot of uh, life moments that were very impactful and very somber, and just trying to understand where I went from there and how to channel it into music. Um, since then, uh, and al also, I should also say there were a lot of breakup songs on that album because I went through <laughs> a very, very, very bad breakup, um, and that was a bit of a mess. Since then, however, um, I found love again, mm -hmm. so that changed the writing process a lot. And this album in particular, um, that that was the the jump off point. It was uh, very much impactful in the way I was writing things. I wanted to write an album that was inspiring, that dealt with the the subject of love, not only love of a partner, but also love of oneself, self-love, mm -hmm. love for your fellow man, and love of music, and just tie all that together. Um, of course, I couldn't break the formula completely, so there's still a couple <laughs> like breakup songs in the mix, but mm -hmm. it's just a lot more... Um, Emotionally diverse? I would say it's there you'll have less moments where you'll be like, oh, he was going through it. You know, like, oh... Mm -hmm. <laughs> and more was like, oh, all right, cool. And um, I definitely took more of a hand in the production this time around, mm -hmm. where I had co-produced my previous album as well. But this time, I really set out to uh, do a lot of the programming. So a lot of the, the songs that are more on the dance side, um, I programmed a lot of the synth work, a lot of the drum work. So kind of had my hands in all over the place. And it's very much my baby. And I'm looking forward to giving birth to it. Um, should be out for the Kickstarters at the mm -hmm. end of September and then for the rest of the world uh, in October. You know, <coughs> excuse me, you know you're going to have to come back. Oh, well, I'd love to. When yeah. Yeah. Yes. And next time I might even bring the full band, you know. I, yeah, I do like the karaoke <laughs> versions here because, you know, I just... That I would be I really I cool. I actually, I had to drive from work today, and I was on the highway thinking, oh, my God, I'm not going to make it to talking <laughs> about. And I, I literally was dodging and weaving in between people, and it all worked out. But let me tell you, that was a stressful moment. I wouldn't leave you guys hanging on your 20th anniversary. Mm. Well, I mean, this this has been a fun we show. We appreciate and I'm, I'm you. Yeah, I'm grateful we for everyone. I appreciate you. I mean, come on now. <laughs> Shoot. I'm, I'm grateful for everyone who got here today. But over the course of the day, I had three cancellations. That's <laughs> okay. Just more time for me. I like it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you you no. should have brought a third <laughs> song. But we're going to get to a second song in a minute. Uh, but we ha we still have about five minutes together before before you go over there and do that. So well, I'd like to ask you guys some questions. I'm going to flip the script on you because it's the 20th Fine. anniversary oh special. Okay. What do you guys have coming up? Car? Any shows? Uh, oh, I'm totally putting you guys <laughs> on the spot. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have, you know, honestly, I have to look at my calendar. <laughs> All right. Well, I will be checking on Facebook religiously well, to find I, out. I've been inspired lately <laughs> with this one character that I've been doing, and um, I think I'm going to make him a Twitter account. <laughs> Can you give us a little sampling? Well, it's not the same when I'm not wearing the mustache and the trucker cap. Oh, but oh I love it. I yeah, love I it wish already. I had my phone here because I could show you some pictures. Oh, yeah, you have... It's, it's ridiculous. I've been <laughs> getting good feedback on this this male character that I've been doing. Will and, you uh, perhaps be hosting Talking About as this male character? Never. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> never. Okay, so wait. This is actually kind of cute. So the character's name is Johnny Ray Hayes. He's from Texas City, Texas. It's a real place. Look it up. Anyway, <laughs> so I did a show at Metropolitan Room. Um, oh, very cool. Funny Haha -ha Queer, which my friend Gary Hannon produces and and books that show and whatnot. And uh, 
So I came out. It was the first. I usually do stand up, but I was like, you know what? I want to do something different. I'm really feeling this character. So I asked him, and he's like, do whatever you want, which is typical Gary. He's an amazing human being. We need to have him on the show. Okay. Um, and so I changed and I got into my drag. You know, I like tamped down my boobs and everything. And um, this was the first time I like put something in my pants. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I what did you put in your pants? To um, a pair of socks. Wow. Big socks. And uh, <laughs> so I asked my friend Gary, I'm like, such a girl. I'm like, does this look real? And he just goes like this. Oh, yes. <laughs> so I was like, okay. So I walked out into the bar and I'm dressed like the character. And um, there's this older queen sitting at the bar with like the same kind of mustache. And he kept checking. <laughs> 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 so a couple of my friends came and I'm like, I'm going to destroy this man when I go on stage and open my mouth. <laughs> so then. <laughs> I get up, I do my thing, and then I tell Gary after what happened. He's like, oh, my God, where is he? And I looked. I'm like, he left. Oh, no. <laughs> you broke his spirit. He yeah. thought, I'm going to take that one home with me tonight. I was doing a good job being real. Like, it was, you know, from far away, I looked like a dude. I think you make a much better woman because you're very Thanks. pretty. You know what's weird, though? When I do this character, I look like one of my cousins, and mm. it freaks me out. I'm like, mm. Sometimes from far away, I look like a dude. Shut up. <laughs> and from close up. <laughs> What's coming up in the 20th year of talking about? You guys well, we're in the, we're in the middle big? of the 20th year. Um, yeah, we, we, we have a few things lined up for the rest of the year. Um, been trying to get the gentleman that you mentioned earlier, Mr. Alon, back. Uh, he's got some stuff in the works, and we've been kind of Facebooking back and forth and trying to figure it out. And, um, um, Berdana might be stopping by at some point. Who will also <laughs> be at the Madonna <laughs> event at Stonewall. Of course. Okay. Yes. Obviously, right? So mm -hmm. and that and just uh, trying to trying to keep some work life separation going, yeah. Doing the long distance relationship thing. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Wow. So I couldn't it's coming do that. up on six years and I'm God it's bless. working. So how God long bless distance you. are we talking? New York, Miami. Wow. At least it's on the same coast, right? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good. We like that. You get to go down to Miami a lot. Yeah, I'm down there. I try to get down there. Guess probably lot. totally didn't think I'd be interviewing you today. That's okay. It works. I, li <laughs> I like couch? it. Is this a different couch? Is it the same couch? No, it's the same I one. Don't know. It's more comfortable than last time. I don't know. <laughs> it's your outfit. I don't know. Maybe my back's just been hurting today. I have a moment to relax. <laughs> well, I can't have you relaxing for too much okay, longer because yeah. you're going to have a job to do. Us with another song. Yes. I'm going to close you guys out. Okay, that's wonderful. I mean, might be over there to chat with you in a, s in a second. Sure. Depending on, depending on the clock, we got five minutes left, so. It's three minutes and 47 seconds, so okay. I think we can work that out. <laughs> precise okay. For it. Uh, website. Uh, you can check me out on the web at www.aris.fm and Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and all those great things. Uh, just look up Aris and YouTube as well. And uh, also, I'd love to thank you again for having me here tonight. Uh, thank you it's for joining us. It's been a real pleasure, as it is always, and I look forward to seeing you both at the Madonna show. Yes. I will We're see always you there. happy to have you pleasure us. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. Ah. Uh, just went too <laughs> far. <laughs> he always has to take it there, but it's okay. Right? Uh, I opened the door, <laughs> and he's just glided right through it. Uh, I won't even go to that one. I'll go over there. <laughs> okay. My thing. You go over <laughs> there. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> thank, thank you, you. Harris. It's about finding the love of your life.
sin. Oh, come on, save my soul. Oh, come on, make me whole. And Happy anniversary talking about 20 years. <laughs>